Hey, welcome back to the January House. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Monday morning and I just finished packing up all the items from last night's auction that were won. I wanted to say thanks again for everyone that came out and supported John and I in the auction last night. We had a great time as we always do. Thanks to all of you for your support. Thanks to everyone who purchased something from us last night. If you paid for your item, it will ship out this morning. If you need a tracking number, let me know and I'll send you a tracking number. So I have a lot going on today. I have to finish packing up items that sold in the other various stores. I'll show you some of those cool items here in a minute. I also want to continue my listing streak that I've been on recently. Last few days, I've been able to list 10 to 15 items per day uh, for the, like the last three or four days. So I'm doing pretty well there. I want to continue that. And then today at four o'clock PM Eastern time, I will be live on Paul Antonelli's YouTube channel. Uh, doing a little interview. We'll have a little discussion about reselling and some other cool topics. I'll put a link to the interview in the description of this video below. Come check us out at 4 o'clock p.m. Paul's a great guy. If you're not familiar with him, go check out his channel. Uh, there's a lot of great content on there, and Paul's one of these YouTubers that has consistent content on his channel almost every day. And I'm usually in this chat room as well. I usually put it on while I'm listing, and then I'll talk to Paul, answer some questions. I've jumped on a time or two, but today at four o'clock PM Eastern, I'll be live on an interview for probably about an hour. So come check us out, ask us some questions, and uh, I hope to see you there. All right, so now I have some cool items shipping out of the eBay store. Let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, my first sale is my first ever Instagram sale. So I try to have one post on Instagram a day. It's a little different from my YouTube channel here where, you know, obviously these are videos I don't do any videos on the Instagram side, although I did a live garage sale video where I was showing people what I was picking up at yard sales and garage sales. That was cool, but only two people joined in, but <laughs> it was still fun for me on that side. But anyway, last week I picked up that big tote of Scentsy tester uh, melts, which look like this, by the way. I know I had sent a picture before but this is like the little tester so they're this size and you put them upside down in the test in the sensi thing and then light the candle underneath and people can get a sense of what the scent is before they buy a full-size version of the scent so they're pretty cool i had posted a picture that i had picked up this big tote and i was going to lot them out into groups of 30 and someone that follows me saw the post and said hey i'd be interested in 30 of those how much so i said 15 dollars shipped to you and they said, great, uh, we'll send them PayPal right now. So they did. And this is going out to Ashley. Ashley, thank you very much. I actually put a few extra in here than the 30. So hopefully you enjoy those extra ones as well. All right, next is a Hess truck, toy truck and racers, actually. Got this in a storage locker. So probably 50 cent cost into this. And there was a number of these Hess trucks in there. And initially I didn't think that they would sell that well. I see them for sale everywhere. But slowly but surely, I've been selling these little by little, and I only have a few left now. I sold this for $12.99 plus shipping. All right, next up is a remote. So uh, on Saturday, I posted that yard sale haul video. I actually picked up a DVD VCR combo on Friday for $15. So the lady told me, yeah, it works great. Everything's in there and it works fine. And the box had the manual in it and this remote and the DVD VCR combo, but when I got home and tried to test it the dvd door wouldn't even open the tray wouldn't open for me to put dvds in so obviously it didn't work but i saw that you can sell the remotes and they were selling for 25 to 30 dollars on ebay i listed this for 29.99 and got my full asking price in less than a day so i doubled my money pretty cool all right, next up is a lot of PSP games. Hey, video games, it's been a while. I tried not to talk about video games too much because I was looking back at some of my old videos and saw that every video I had one or two video game sales and I don't know, I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit, but video games are back. I sold this lot of PSP games for $16 plus shipping. Picked them up in a yard sale, probably have $2 cost into them. All right, next is a lot of five Crown Royal bags. I'll put a better picture of them here for you to look at. So last year I had purchased a large lot of Crown Royal bags on the Nextdoor app. If you're familiar with Nextdoor app, it's kind of like a um, neighborhood 
um, bulletin board app, if you will. But they have a for sale section and uh, a lady was selling this large lot of Crown Royal bags for $5. And I picked them up, one of them, a red one, pink, red, I'm not really sure of the color, but it's not purple like these. <laughs> um, but it ended up selling for $40 by itself. So I'm way into the money on these Crown Royal bags. And I sell a few of them every once in a while, like I did here. And I sold these five Crown Royal bags for $10.95 with free shipping. All right, next up is a doll head. This is Mr. Action. So I won a large online auction of, of vintage G.I. Joe dolls, you know, the taller 12 inch dolls and other figures. And in the box was just this Mr. Action head. It was a head and torso, but the torso was messed up. So I got rid of the torso. The head was in good condition. So I threw the torso away and I took the head and listed it online and I sold it for $8 plus shipping to the United Kingdom. I'm using the simple export rate, first class international shipping uh, to ship this to the UK. So maybe that's what helps sell it. I didn't use the global shipping program through eBay. I used Pirate Ships, simple export rate, and I'll ship it that way. All right, next up is kind of an interesting story. This is a Cuisinart uh, food processor chopping blade. So a few weekends ago, I was out at yard sales and I saw a lady that was selling a Cuisinart Custom Prep 11 food processor. And it had all the blades. There's a dough blade, there's this blade, there's a couple of the round circular grating blades. Had all the attachments and she wanted $20 for it. I ended up bundling it with a few other things and I paid $25 for the entire lot. And then I usually always park those Cuisinart items out. They're very big and bulky and heavy. Uh, the motor, the base part is very heavy. So I took it all apart and I already sold the mixing bowl part, the, the part that you put the actual food in for $29.95 plus shipping. So it already paid for itself and the, all the rest of the items already. Uh, but then this blade was listed and one morning I got an email from eBay saying that they removed this uh, blade uh, because it was recalled. It was under recall for the Consumer Product Safety website. Uh, something about, if you can see, this blade is actually riveted to this holder piece here. It's probably easier to see on this side. But there's four rivets and supposedly... Uh, the blade can come loose and uh, parts of the blade have come off in the past, I guess. And, you know, people have found um, blade parts in the bowl uh, not attached to the blade. Obviously, that's a problem if you don't want to be eating blades uh, in your, <laughs> in whatever you're making, in whatever you're making for your food there. So uh, it was under recall. eBay pulled it, but I also have an account with Bonanza. And what Bonanza does is they will pull your listings down from eBay and put them on the Bonanza site. Um, they put them on at a discount and then they take a, a fee when you sell your item, obviously. Uh, so uh, for some reason, the item was still listed on Bonanza and I sold it this weekend. So this sold for $15.40 on Bonanza plus shipping. All right, next is a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cup, mug. It's plastic. It's from 1989 and it's in good shape. Uh, the colors are still good. Uh, could probably use a little better cleaning on the inside, but I did, uh, I did clean it out myself. And I got this in a big lot that I just bought from John who does the auctions with me on Sunday nights. And I spent $150 on a large number of vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle items. I bought 20 uh, Ninja Turtle figures. There's a number of accessories. There's some vehicles. Um, there was color forms. Uh, there was this cup. There's a puzzle that was unopened, a tray, just a whole uh, bunch of items. I might take a big picture of the uh, rest of the items that I have in the lot and put it on Instagram and uh, and see what the kind of feedback is there. But, uh, but I ended up selling this for $9 plus shipping. All right, next is this vintage New York Knicks starter snapback hat. I picked this up for $2 and put it on eBay for $29.95. And I had a number of what I'll say are low offers. 
uh, $12, $15. And I just took a few bucks off and would counter back at $28 or $27. And I would never hear from, uh, from those people again. Uh, but overnight, last night, this sold for full price, $29.95 plus shipping. All right, finally, I sold this vintage 1989 Baxter Stockman figure from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like I said, I got this big lot from John and I sold him for $10.95 plus shipping. Uh, so that's it. I got to get to packing these items up and shipping them out. Again, don't forget to check me out today, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Paul Antonelli's channel. I will have a link to that interview in the description below. If you like today's video, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a message down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.